Today, we're gonna be talking about six AI and productivity websites that will make you super human. Welcome back to TQM or the quintessential millennial channel where we talk about all things finance with an emphasis on AI. If you are new around here, consider smashing the like button down below and subscribing to the channel. Now let's go ahead and dive in. The first website of the six we're gonna talk about is actually a Chrome extension, Chat GPT Writer. And did I mention at the beginning that all six of these are actually 100% free and require $0 to implement? So a free Chrome extension to generate entire emails and messages using ChatGPT AI. All sites are supported and enhanced support for Gmail. So you can see here, they give us an example of what it actually looks like in practice. So you go in, say you're responding to an email and you see the email context. And then it says here, briefly enter what you want to reply. And it says here, generate a reply to this email that I'm interested, ask about salary and remote work option. You could see it's currently generating a response based off of the email that was stated at the beginning. Now, a lot of the times, whenever it comes to responding to emails in general, I remember when I was managing a pharmacy, always emailing out potential technicians or clerks that I was looking to hire. You know, the responses I would look at from an email perspective sometimes had grammatical errors or just punctuation errors just didn't sound like someone who really wanted the job. So imagine using AI to kind of help you out and create something that actually would be quite sensible. And so now you can implement this if you're someone that is seeking a new job and looking to make, if you're looking to maybe streamline the entire process of just email responses in general, because they could be pretty burdensome. Trust me, I'm someone who gets emails 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and I try my best to respond to all of them, but oftentimes I can't. So with ChatGPT Writer, it's making things a lot easier, very easy. And I'll have the links down in the description below. And you can see the step-by-step -step that's listed on their website on where to go about it and how to actually utilize it. Now let's go to website number two. And again, it is a Chrome extension for the second time. And it is Scribe. So it's a documentation, standard operating procedures, and screenshot type platform. It's the fastest way to create visual step-by-step -step guides. So depending on what you do for work and what you're looking to do, here's an example of something and some information about it, but it's an auto generate step-by-step -step guide just by clicking the button record. Save your team 20 hours a month versus video and text tutorials. So oftentimes whenever we look at SOPs and the reason that this interested me, again, working in a pharmacy, you know there's every single thing that you have to do from how to give a vaccine the emergency protocol if someone has an adverse reaction uh end of day beginning of day checklist the things that you have to complete again standard operating procedures depending on the business that you're running they're just day to day even if you live at home for example for me closing the light in the morning when it comes to my porch light in the front yard right things like that just become kind of nuisance and also again it's just very much just part of the daily procedure so with something like this scribe you can now instead of having to continue to always repeat yourself or give all these different samples hey there's a one-stop shop go over there if you think of an idea click record get it down and now you can build this into your sop system and then send it out to all employees or people that you're living with it doesn't matter those are just some of the examples i thought of and again a free chrome extension that you can try and see what it does for you in my opinion, this is something that is extremely necessary, especially in this day and age of employee turnover. And, you know, just in general, I think it's something that could be very, very helpful. Now let's move over to number three, my personal favorite of all six we're gonna be discussing, and that is ChatDoc. So ChatDoc, it says here, chat with documents, get instant answers with cited resources. So again, personal anecdote. When I was a pharmacy student, I remember having to look at research papers all the time as part of assignments, as part of being in a research lab. We just had to gather information from data. But unfortunately, if you're reading four or 500 pages worth of research, oftentimes you only need 10 to 15 pages of that that is actually going to be useful for the work that you're trying to do. If you're doing things like meta-analysis, which are basically, again, compilation of a bunch of different articles and looking for certain maybe endpoints or certain results that just takes a lot of time out of our day and that's what ai is all about right making our days efficient getting things done quicker and more efficiently 
So it says here, read faster, learn better. Upload research papers, books, manuals, and more directly into ChatDoc. Ask anything about your files and get an easy to understand answer within seconds. So for those of you that are in school right now, I know this is going to be useful. For those of you who are doing research or just looking to learn about something new, this could make your time so much better used. Select tables and text for improved analysis. ChatDoc can understand tables or text inside your docs, optimizing its data and analyzing performance. Folks, it's also going to source the cited for fact checking. So if you have certain sites that you're looking for, it's going to make sure that this is legit and it's not just fake news. So again, I would highly recommend you guys to check it out. Even if you're not going to use it on a day-to-day -day basis, at least having this in your back pocket for whenever you're looking into something, then you could identify new ways. Like for me, for example, I'm trying to learn a lot about dropshipping these days and how to use storefronts. So with chat doc, I can kind of look at best practices, find articles, news, and even maybe research studies, because at this point, there's probably some peer reviewed articles about the science of people who shop online. So I can go in and try to find best practices from a bunch of these articles and put it into chat doc and get some pretty phenomenal answers. So there was number three, and now I'll move to number four, and that is mini course generator, 100% AI generated. So create mini courses super fast with AI and great practicality. Interactive mini courses are great for using them as educational lead magnets, workshop enrichment assets, micro learning materials to educate community or to get paid. Realize your mini course ideas without getting overwhelmed or procrastination thanks to an AI assistant and no brainer card structure. So folks, you guys know I like to talk about side hustles and I'll probably dedicate a video just to this mini course website, but you could see here, this is something that could be pretty substantial. If you, especially if you're trying to create content or start offering classes. And we talked about things like Udemy on this channel and other ways to make passive income by creating maybe some courses or some content. Now you can do it 100% AI generated for free. You just have to do some of the main content creating yourself. But when it comes to the designing, when it comes to some of the more difficult, in-depth information, this AI assistant can actually do it for you via their website. So I'd say check it out. And remember, the links are down below for everything that I mentioned. And now move over to number five, and that is Compose AI. Write faster with AI and save time. Compose AI is a Chrome extension that cuts your writing time by 40% with AI-powered auto-completion and text generation. Huh, is this too good to be true though? Because, you know, one of the things that we need to understand as a society, right? When we look at the typing speed for most people, on average, it's about 40 to 50 words per minute. 44, I think, to be exact. Fact check me if you want. But I think the most important thing with that aspect is oftentimes it's not about how many words per minute you can actually type, but it's getting the things that are in your head down on that piece of paper. So it says here, it's a free Chrome extension to automate your writing, save time from writing the same things over and over again, and our goal is to automate the typing process, leaving you time for things that matter. It's kind of getting pretty ridiculous and out of hand how much AI is doing, but I think it's amazing and we have to embrace it because the whole point right now with this AI revolution is making our life easier so we can spend more time on things that are more meaningful. Typing, eh, debatable. Maybe having good typing speed is not a bad thing, but hey, it says here, compose anything, got writer's block, get ideas for stories, blog posts, website copy, research topics, and even more. Type forward slash forward slash, that's all you really need to do on your keyboard to ask our AI to write you anything currently available in Google Docs and Gmail. So there's something also called autocomplete where you can start saying, you could see they started here, hey Lindsay, I'm trying to learn some basic info and it will say information about my customers. So right now, if you go on Gmail or Google um, and you try to send an email out, it might tell you to here, is this what you kind of want to finish it by? The autocomplete though, with its AI aspect, it's a lot more better at predicting what words will come next in a full sequence of sentence and maybe even a paragraph that would be quite sensible. It can also rephrase sentences, compose email, and an easy email reply. I do wonder, with this AI push now, what's going to happen to people's IQs, especially here in the United States or most of the first world countries? I think having access to this will be damaging in terms of our intellectual understanding or being able to just get ideas out but hey 
no hard feelings. Let's keep going to the final one of today, and that is weekday. It's the sixth and final AI tool that I think could make you a lot more productive. And it says here, find emails for free, personalized messages at scale with GPT-3. So it says here, find email addresses and send personalized messages where your candidates are most active. So powerful features to help you find and hire even faster. If you're someone that's a business owner or if you're someone that's a manager, this could be quite handy. Or if you're just an employee trying to help maybe a boss out, you can find personal email of any LinkedIn profile. So oftentimes when I was looking for potential employees or I think but more so from a you know pharmacist candidate or if we're looking for residents at the time, oftentimes we'd look at LinkedIn and try to identify their profile through a pseudo anonymous type account. We don't want to show like, hey, me as Ahmed, I'm going in and searching for this individual because I'm looking to hire them, but I want them to see that I'm kind of like spying on a profile, right? So here with this tool, you can find personal email of any LinkedIn profile with literally just utilizing this extension, send email drip sequence with just a click, personalize all your recruiting messages, manage all of them via real time synced Google Sheets, it's the story goes on. So again, I think it's incredible. I do. But I did mention something that really does kind of give me some question marks. And that is what happens to society if AI is over leveraged in our day to day basis? Because again, what I'm starting to see right now is if this is all possible, it all comes down to how well can we use AI tools to live on a day to day basis? No emotional tasks can be completed. But I think for the most part, a lot of the burdensome things can be done using these tools. So you gotta learn how to embrace them and utilize them every single day. I appreciate your support as always. So thank you all so much for tuning in. That's all I have for you guys today. And until next time, everybody, as always, take care.